Hey, it's Jacqueline, and I hope you feel like you're learning a little bit more about driving every time you come back and watch a new video. And now we're gonna work specifically on making safe, unprotected left turns. So let's head out on the road, and we'll talk about the things that you need to be aware of. One of the things that you wanna keep in mind when you are making an unprotected left turn is that oncoming traffic and the sidewalk crossing to the left have the right of way. So while you arrive up to the light of your unprotected left, you're watching the, un the uncontrolled traffic coming towards you on the left-hand side. And you're also looking to the left to watch the sidewalk. I know when I have an unprotected left because it's a solid green circle. If it was a protected turn, I would have the arrow. So here is an unprotected left turn. I enter the left turn lane. Notice the car ahead of me does not have their turn signal on, even though it's a left turn lane and we know that they are turning left. What I hope we're gonna be able to watch them do is model the same strategy that we're gonna use. When the light turns green, the first car is supposed to go forward and position themselves with their left mirror on top of the second limit line. That's the waiting position for the unprotected left turn. And then from that position, the car ahead of us waits for a safe gap I'm not sure that was a safe gap, but they made it across the intersection. I'm gonna wait until I can be sure that there's no car coming that would accidentally hit me when I make my turn. I'm also keeping track of the sidewalk crossing and I was monitoring the light. So when the light turned yellow, I made sure that oncoming traffic stopped and then I could safely make my turn. Let's do that one more time up here the same strategy following step by step so that we can apply the same pattern every time we make a left turn and we can make sure that we're always safe. Signal, stop behind my first limit line. I'm gonna wait for the light to turn green when the light turns green, I advance to my second position. I make sure it's safe, and then I continue my turn. I'm going to make another left here, also unprotected. Oncoming traffic and the sidewalk both have to be clear for me to initiate my turn. So we just did a little square of unprotected turns. The most important thing is our lane positioning. We advance until our left mirror is on top of the second limit line, and that's where we wait. We watch oncoming traffic and we make sure it clears. We check the sidewalk crossing to the left. We make sure no one's there, and then we initiate our turn two really important things to remember. Do not start turning your wheel to the left until you're ready to start your turn because that can be super scary. If somebody were to rear end you, it would push you out into oncoming traffic. And also, if the light turns yellow, you make sure that oncoming traffic comes to a full stop before you start your turn. The yellow light turning red gives you a few seconds to clear the intersection, even if you have to wait for cars to clear. And I'm going to use this opportunity to turn left. I had a nice gap between the cars and I'm gonna go right back in to make another unprotected left so we can keep practicing this pattern. And I'm convinced that if we practice, 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 we will get it perfect. So I practice my position, left mirror over the second limit line, 
and I'm waiting. I'm watching my green light, I'm watching oncoming traffic, and I'm making sure that the sidewalk is clear. When the light turns yellow, I watch to make sure traffic is stopping, and then I safely make my turn. I'm also using that same good steering that we practiced. If you need some more support around steering, check out our video specifically about steering control and left and right turns, and that'll be super helpful. So I'm gonna make one more unprotected left turn here, and then we're gonna go check out a protected left turn. And the protected left turns are pretty easy because when we have the green light on our left turn, the rest of the world stops. But on this unprotected left, I have to follow my lane positioning, watching oncoming traffic and the sidewalk crossing. I have a little girl on a scooter on the left, so I'm gonna keep my eye on them. I'm watching the traffic clear, and then I turn. And we're gonna follow those same strategies every time. Positioning yourself with your left mirror over the second limit line, waiting for oncoming traffic to clear, making sure the sidewalk is clear, and if the light turns yellow, watching that oncoming traffic stops before you clear the intersection. Follow those steps every time you make an unprotected left turn and you'll end up in the correct lane when your turn ends and you'll safely navigate through the intersection without interfering with other cars or people dangerously. And now we're gonna make a protected left turn And we can see from the signal light ahead that there are five circles. So that's a clue that it's a protected left because a regular intersection light only has three circles for red, yellow, and green. This light also has the green arrow and a yellow arrow so that I know when it's no longer safe for me to go. So I'm the third or fourth car back I'm not sure if I'm gonna make the green light or not. We'll just keep our eyes out. I do know that when my light is green, no one should be crossing in the sidewalk and there shouldn't be any oncoming traffic coming. So let's see if it works out the way we think it should. We have our green arrow. The momentum of our lane starts to go forward. Indeed, the whole world stops for us and we get to safely make our turn, left turn into the left lane. Unlike the car ahead of us that went over into the right lane, they would fail their driving test because they made a lane violation by sliding over. We always do left into left lane and right into right. I'm going to make another protected left turn here just so that we can practice. We're just making big squares and we're specifically practicing unprotected left turns and now protected left turns. We also want to think about our speed when we're making turns. Of course, from a stop, we slightly accelerate forward but we think about using our caution speed of 15 miles an hour or less. Oftentimes when I check the speedometer, my turns are safe at 10 or 12 miles an hour. But of course that depends on what's going on in the intersection, if there are any large parked vehicles around or other reasons to go slower. And this turn, I made at 15 miles an hour, perfect safe speed for a nice wide open protected left turn. And we're gonna go up to the next light. We'll make one more protected left turn and then we'll call it a day. 
And the next thing for you to do is to get your driving instructor or your safe ally, your friend or your family member that's helping you practice and have them take you out on the road so that you can practice all of your turns, your left and right turns, but pay special attention and practice really safely for your unprotected left turns because there's a lot going on. First step, positioning. Left mirror on top of the second limit line. This is my perfect waiting position. I'm watching oncoming traffic. I'm watching the green light and I'm scanning the sidewalk crossing. I'm wondering if there's gonna be a gap for me to be able to turn or if I'm gonna to have to wait for the yellow light. The light turns yellow and then I clear the intersection. Only when I'm sure that all the cars were gonna stop. And now I'm gonna pull over and park on the right-hand side, always doing a lane change, approaching smoothly and coming to a stop parallel to my curb. Excellent. Thank you for searching out this resource for identifying exactly what you need. If you need help with left turns, then you've got this video. You might also need help with right turns over the bike lane. That's another important strategy. In California, you always have to remember the bike lane. So watch out for our next video, right turns over the bike lane. And by watching all of these videos and getting the practice you can with your friends and family, you are gonna be a great and safe driver.